I'm doing a second video on this device because I love it. This is probably got to be the best device that you can own if you have an iPhone with a lightning port. Now, I know that eventually they're going to do away with the port. And I don't know if they're going with USB-C or no ports at all. But this has got to probably be the best backup device, easiest to use, best device. And it's the PNY Duo Link, okay, for iPhones and iPads. I use it to back up all my devices. This is the packaging. Now, it's been a while. I, I'm going to say over two years since this device had come out. I purchased it. I think it cost me about $80 when it first came out. Now you can probably find it for an average of about $50. Or, um, no, $79 is the average price. And it goes on special. Now, I purchased these when they went on special. They were about $39.99. And I have Best Buy coupons because I'm like a super member for Best Buy. And um, I was able to purchase them for just probably around $35. And I purchased three because they had gone on special and they hadn't gone on special in such a long time. I purchased a total of three of them. And I got to tell you, I love this device. I mean, I purchased an additional three and I already had two just as backups. I, it just works flawlessly and I just don't want this device to disappear from the market and not have it. I've tried other ones with a Lightning backup that I purchased on Amazon. I've ended up returning them. A lot of times, many of them, when you buy them, they just crash. The app crashes, just doesn't do a really good job. This is probably my fifth device that I had tried to back up physically. Now, let me explain why I use this device. I don't keep my pictures on my phone because I take thousands of pictures, not a few pictures, thousands of pictures and hundreds of videos. So I run out of space pretty quickly. I, my average is maybe a week and I have a, right now I still, I have an, well, this is an iPhone 6S Plus, which I'm showing an example on, but I haven't, I've gotten to an, I've gone to an iPhone 11, which 256 gigs and because of the 256 gig, I'm probably averaging uh, probably a week and a half to two weeks before I have to offload all my pictures and videos. Now, I do upload them to Google Drive and I use them for with the high efficiency or the uh, high quality without it going against my quota because I just want the pictures as a backup in general just to watch on my phone. So. Then when I want the pure backups, which I like, you know, the original version photos, I use this. And when I back this up to with this, I take this, put it in my computer, and I have a Drobo with five drives, and that's my photo backup, just for photos and videos. And it has five drives, and I think it's, uh, I'm gonna say about eight terabytes each. So, I use two as redundant backup, uh, two as for redundancy, so it's only three drives being used. So that gives me, what, 24 terabytes that I get to um, play with, or not 24, uh, 22 maybe after all the overhead. So 21, 22 terabytes of original photo and video backup. So when I do 4Ks on my iPhone and everything, and um, I do high quality photos on my iPhone, I can back them up to, through my computer with this. It's faster and easier. I do use Google as to back up my photos, not the videos, just the photos, because it doesn't count toward my quota. And that's actually what I use to show people my pictures. So when I want to show pictures to my friends and family of persons or people, Google does a great job on organizing the albums for you by name, by type. I mean, you can look up house if you're looking up for a certain house or a date or someone. And if you tag the photo, you know, with uh, it has facial recognition. So if you've given the person a name, you'll find every single picture of that person. It's really, really cool, really easy to use. And that's how I show my pictures to people. And I have uh, over a million photos on Google Photos. So... 
Um, but I don't have the originals. I like the originals. I like to keep the originals. I don't throw it away. I've been taking pictures with a digital camera since the Sony Mavic. I don't know if you know what camera that is. It used to take cassette tapes. Uh, not cassette tapes, I'm sorry. Disquette tapes. 1.44 megabyte, megabyte cassette tapes. They were uh, square shaped data. Uh, they were just, you know, they're old. I, I have one around, but I, I don't know where it is right now. And that's how I used to take pictures. I still have those pictures. Now, I used to get about 20 pictures per 1.44 megabyte. So I got 20 pictures. You, you could tell the quality wasn't that great because 20 pictures at 1.44, you're lucky to get that on one photo now. So this is my way of backing up pictures. It is the best. And I just want to show you an example how it works. Very easy to use. This is my phone. I'm using it as an example. And the app is called, and I'm going to move it over so you can see it for yourself. Uh... It's called Duolink 4. That's what I'm using right now, Duolink 4. So I'm not doing it on packaging. This is actually a gift for someone, a very good friend of ours. She is running into the problem with having to offload the photos in her in her uh, phone. It's two years of photos. She doesn't want to lose any of them. So I'm giving her this to back up her pictures. It's 128 gig. So f most times it's very good at, you know, um, even though I have 256 and iPhone 11, I usually don't get it. Let it get too too uh, too high in uh, photo amount. You know, I don't get it at 200 gigs. And if I do, it's fine. I can uh, just do one set and then go to the next one. You know, remove, empty out the drive. After. Basically, what I'll do is if it goes over 128 gigs, I'll back up a certain amount of photos, take this out, put this in, back it up on my computer, put this back after I've emptied all the photos from here, and then back up the rest. So that's usually the easy thing to do. So this is what happens. You can either run the app. Okay, it's not finding the drive. Or what's nice... What I like about iPhones over Android, nothing against Android, is that it actually will send you to the App Store. Once you plug this in, it'll send you to the App Store so that you can get this app. Plug it in. And since I already have it, this is what it's going to say. This is the whole interface. Now, I've never looked at what this is. Uh, third party settings, format, user manual. You know, I've never gone to that. So usually this is just the way I use it. I don't use file management or backup. I just do transfer media. That's it. And this is the setup. You can transfer photos, videos, music, documents. I stream music, so I don't need that. I don't really back up my documents in that way. They're usually synced with all my devices or whatever is here. There's no need to back it up. It doesn't take up that much space. So I use photos and videos. So on videos, let's go here. Okay, it's telling me about some compatibility things. So in the top, you'll see the menu. And then on the bottom, this will show you the what's in here. You switch to the iPhone, and this is what's in the iPhone. You choose multi-select, select all. And then, this is what I use. To, so you can do all these things. You can copy to, delete, share, but I use, do it, use it this way. Move to. So over here, I have the drive. It's showing me the drive storage. So you can choose either one, but I want the drive storage. And I'll create a folder. I'll name it pictures. Let me just do pics. Uh, uh, great. Pics. Don't have to, but I like to do that. It keeps it organized. 
I click in the folder, then I do paste. And you know what? That wasn't pictures, that was movies. Sorry about that. My mistake. So, I'll delete the pictures. I'm sorry. I'll go back and show you the, pic the photo one. So, I did videos. Now I'm going to do photos. It's going to have a lot more. It has the iPhone chosen. You do multi select. Select all. And it's chosen all of them. See that? Bunch of pictures I've taken. How many pictures are there? It tells me at the bottom. Nope. Click. Move to. If you create a folder, I'm not. <laughs> since I created the picture folder, just going to paste it onto the main partition or the uh, main drive. Do paste. And just everything moving. I mean, this thing is so easy to use. And of course, it's gonna say, allow to delete this many pictures. Do delete. You could usually close it by now, or you could just clear this cache if you want. So you got to click that, and uh, you want to I'm just gone. You could, you don't have to do it. So now, if I go to photos, uh, you see no photos or videos. If I go to the albums, you're gonna see recently deleted. 98. So all the pictures I just deleted are gone. They're not in the phone anymore. So let me show you how it looks on the computer now. Into my computer. Comes up. I just click on it. I could either do home, cut, and then I could just paste it to the desktop. already done I could also take this so I can do um, home select all home cut and I could just place them in there with the rest of the uh, items and that's it it's probably the best backup tool I own for iPhone. The, the next backup tool that I use just all the time is iMazing. I've done a video on that. I-M-A-Z-I-N-G. That's I-M-A-Z-I-N-G. That, back, that backup, that, back, that app or that software, Windows software backs up iPhones so well i mean it does a great job to restore a phone so if you're upgrading whatever you do a backup you bring the phone back you bring the phone you, the new one you connect it to your computer restore it it's like exactly uh the same phone it's awesome so i, I thought i'd share that with you let me just do a a quick measurement on this so let me measure it so I'll do a close up too. So I'm not doing an unboxing because that's for a friend of mine. And six and one eighths, pretty thin. It's a rubber piece. It comes with a rubber with a with a plastic clip, and it clips both of these ends together like that. Um, I usually I don't use that. I usually throw it in the drawer. Uh, I keep it like this, and I just put it down. But it's uh, plastic, metal, rubber, lightning. And it works.
works really, really well. I'm very happy with this device. All right, I hope you like it. Thank you.